so maybe today like what we can go through is um, how does how do they do it like what's what's the selling point of doom emacs right for me why do i love doom emacs as an open source community and you know what's the difference so far what i've seen okay so let's talk about it and yeah so right now on the screen that you see towards the left that's my terminal right where we have just done doom upgrade right and what does it do it basically gives you an, gives you an option to see what's the old revision and what's the new revision right so that's like you can see 6 days ago and 12 hours ago so you can you have a link to diff and if you want to see uh, in your browser you can also do y so just that basically opens the diff on the browser so right now i'm going to kind of quickly walk through the commits the way they have handled the way they are organized the way they actually take care of what's going on as well and of course by they mostly the main author maintainer everyone right everyone to do me max um h listener i don't know how to pronounce it but i'm pretty sure he'll be uh, like they'll be forgiving of the fact that i could not hendrik listener uh, listener maybe but hendrik let's just i'm um, sorry by the way hendrik if you're watching this but let's see like what's the selling point of to me max right starting from the first point uh, we have talked about this before the way they have handled the whole um to me the main point was coming from new wave any community let's say lunar wave anything that you come from like astro i've used for example astro i love by the way uh the point is with doom emacs if you go to their road map um they have development road map uh, they have plugins under review and they have upstream bugs as well documented separately right so as you can see doom emacs has has not been easy to keep with by the way guys if you want to donate uh, anything to doom emacs and um hendrik please feel free but they have this really really nice way to say that okay this is a development road map road map um they do mention that what they are planning to do for each things like for example doom emacs module what are they planning for each module like maybe they were planning to move from company to corfu in 3 if i remember like as you can see that they they have not decided yet but they were thinking of dropping completion iv so you know they are open to uh looking at whatever opinions are from the users and this is amazing like packages under review so they're like of course with emacs and uvm there's so much third party plugins that you can enjoy using right and uh, they they go through this like for example august 9 2024 they are suggest suggesting something uh, like for example use ultra scroll scroll map and this is an addition and this is unreviewed right now right similarly with any other plugin right now you can see that okay it's this is um they want to use this to replace most of the packages in the emacs tied module and hasn't been maintained in about a year so i'll be i'll be maintain a fork soon so this is like they also know that something is not being maintained so they'll be maintaining a fork and what's the future plan as you can see it's draft it's in progress right now they're working on it similarly with removal for example if you want to remove something they have mentioned it okay consider considered for removal to reduce the complexity of lang go lsp offers many of these features and more reliably right so these are really good things like for those people who are actively using these they could consider that okay do i want to uh like look at it for example similarly for company mode which people have been using as like if they're using doom emacs defaults company mode is by default there right core for in the underlying cap f is superior is almost in every in almost every way so the plan is to eventually phase out company support entirely right so this is a type of removal added june 28 2024 and they are investigating and for reference it's not just like they are talking about it they did move the default to corfu recently the pr got merged now everything is like um, default corfu they have uh, module maintainers as well which i think i talked about in the previous video but you can also go to modules and you can go to com completion and you can see like um like i think this is not upgraded for oh, this is different like this is vertigo that's different but if you can go to corfu they have also maintainers who take care of this module so like they have these probably accountability or responsibility but it's more like a volunteer thing i i guess and not a responsibility as such but it's just good to see that okay whom to reach out to maybe hendrik does not have all the knowledge about corfu and you can reach out to these folks and you can ask them hey what's going on right uh, can you help me out um and of course you cannot hold them responsible but you can ask for help doom emacs for reference also has a really really active discord and very down to earth people right i mean uh, you can of course it's grayscale not everything will be perfect 
um not everyone will be down to earth but so far i've seen just good enough people and you know just how they say that a startups community comes from the top similarly with doom emacs it comes from the top so it comes from the way hendrik also reviews prs like i just want to talk about quickly if you look at any pr that is being reviewed mm let's say reviews um okay maybe i can say okay reviews maybe approved review let's look at approved review right and let's go to something that is closed so mm mm for example maybe they upgraded something in docs thanks for your help right just a simple thing i i don't want to make this a big thing but maybe it's very obvious for hendrik but i'll tell you this thing right when someone is like creates a pr uh, right in open source or whatever even if you are working for a corporate job if someone just sees lgtm thanks for help uh it just makes them feel like okay thank god while uh, at the other point of time if you just approve changes and not uh, you know acknowledge the help it's just different i just appreciate like the way they have been consistent about i have noticed this a lot right i am telling you this um that this is not something that's once in a while right i can actually show you where uh, they have probably good catch thanks for help right this is something that i strongly believe that people should um look at and try to appreciate and they definitely do right um what's going on okay whatever it is uh they run, then run doom sync just updating the pin module should be enough try this and then run doom sync they upgraded and thanks for your help um maybe and it's just copies copy paste is just um uh, and just kidding i think it's really really good like look at any pr right um i want to actually look at something that has more comments and someone i think where they yeah let's look at this for example like please remove python mode map these should only be bound to anaconda mode map please either remove the new parenthesis or correctly indent their contents right please either remove the new parenthesis please either remove the new parenthesis okay that's a lot okay so i mean just look at this like this makes a lot of difference right like the way people do these things uh, the way they are doing the review part it's just nice right and i love this about like i have seen many open source repositories where people are not acknowledging what open source contributors are doing for the more, like for the whole community uh, and the fact that uh, he like uh, hendrik does it it's really nice right and just like i have seen many open source people and say that go go look at the docs and then there is just a better way to say that hey you know uh, here's a reference maybe you could look at it uh, and then you ask them what makes you miss the docs right was it not easy to read were you not uh, vigilant enough about it like you can ask them just better way right um, it could be communication difference i do understand you know like look at this i realize the optimization is not really needed for buffers that are already open if this advice works it will inform a proper so i'll inform a proper solution for the module and then look at this this actually does not seem related to whatever i suspect this or oh, this might actually be this fault and then you look at this then they push something i guess and then they try to fix it this is nice right so you know for those like doom emacs i'm pretty sure people will be using it who are developers or who are people who you want to use org mode in general just if you want to use something and you you're like a person who follows ethics very strongly um and i say this uh, while i'm at apple and i know um i wouldn't say that any of the things i use uh, need to follow 100% perfection in terms of how they react to things but personally i think doom emacs is right over there right um, i love it uh, the way they do things the way they address things i'm just forever like i think i enjoy this a lot right and i hope it stays i just hope people keep sponsoring as well whoever who could and um, i think it's worth using as well for those people i know i should actually also talk about what i love about doom emacs or in general emacs but i wanted to highlight this thing as i believe that this is not highlighted enough on the the efforts of the main author and maintainer and of all the module owners as well who do take care of things personally so i think it's just really nice so yeah that's something i wanted to highlight thank you so much for listening maybe and of course all the credits go go to the guy i, I mean them not me 
community behind an editor is also reason to like the editor. Yes, I mean, it is right. Like we've always realized, okay, oh, you are using Windows, but Windows has been doing all these things in the background. But if it works for you, it's okay. I'm not saying that it's wrong, but just knowing that what, who is actually building it makes it, like gives you some confidence that, okay, whatever you're using is, is like just pure. Like the, the whole intent is pure, right? Like I am still using ChatGPT, for example, and I, it's possible that the data is being used for things that I'm not aware of, right? Apple iPhone, you're using it. Maybe the data is being used for things that you're not aware of. Okay. Same with Android as well, but it's just good to know that who is building it and who they are, right? Just letting and not in person, right? Who they are. I don't know. Like, for example, I don't know personally, like who Enric is, what he does in personal life. It's not none of my business as well, but just knowing how he maintains to me max, how he keeps it alive. Is something that gives me more confidence. As I said in my last stream, I believe in Domi Max, and probably at some point of time, I'm, I'm, I mean, I've been using NeoVim for so long, and I do believe in NeoVim as well. Just the whole community with Domi Max is something I find more developer friendly and more developer oriented as well. And just I like it. Yeah.